Buenos días, son el 15 de diciembre, el, um, hoy viernes, no se ve. Um, it's Friday, December 13, um, 3.15, 8.52 in the morning. Sorry, I've been working on something this last night. Um, just give me, let me get one more deep piece of information. Um, Well, they have the information wrong on us, but they do not the police literally. Put them right in the biscuit phone or something. Is that or this is that? Anyway, we're gonna go with the information I have. Um, you know, online doesn't say everything is the truth. Um, in Google. I don't have the name, but we can find out everything with the information I have. Um, so we're gonna start. I have one. Um, I have two more things. to so south one is this one, and then two is this one, Robert. This one, something that you wanted to be having and didn't let you have. Was it alright? No. Alright. No, it alright. Um, alright, I'm talking about New Balance. Um, um, was founded by an Italian gay male born on, in Venice, Italy. December 29, 1932, he was the only child. He finished grade school. His mother died 10 years when he was 10 years old. She was, he was, she was the only child. The father died. When he was 18 years old, the dad was an only child. No siblings. He worked for um, Reebok as a factory shoe. And from 1941 to 1950, you know you can do in England, William Riley. Moved to San Francisco, California on January 5th, 1950. Um, he came with a thousand dollars US dollars to America, rented a one bedroom in the Golden Gate neighborhood, furnished one for one hundred furnished for one hundred dollars a month, got a factory job making shoes. He was a Jewish man. Um, he had two boyfriends, never married, they deceased. Um, he was with one for eight years with an Italian guy and 15 years with the other guy. Um, they both passed away. Um, he was drug free, social drinker, not a big drinker. He found a new balance in 1982. Until 1985, rented a small factory in 1982. He saved $84,300 to start his own sneaker company. He hired nine employees. He paid $5 an hour, $1,000 a month of rent for the factory. His release, first release was on January 5th, 1983. He gave it to Woolworths to sell. Woolworths gave him the opportunity. He gave them 84 pair of New Balance classic white sneakers. And two Woolworths, in the, in the Woolworths, he sold the entire stock, $10 a pair, 20 cents a pair to make them. Woolworths made $4 profit. Uh, he made a $649 profit. New Balance made, he continued making them in different styles and colors strictly for Woolworths until 1992. After 92, he started selling at Models, Kmart, Caldors, Macy's, Sears, JD Sports, Foot Locker. By the year 2000, he had made a fortune of $99 million and built a solid sneaker empire. Both, both parents passed through, um, both partners passed during their relationship. In, 2000, um, in 2009, he launched his online business where he sold out his inventory in two weeks, selling 2,999 sneakers, making a profit of $371,413. New Balance became popular with every demographic by the year 2020. Um, their first collaboration was in 2018, which is one of my go-to urban streetwear stores, Bodega, um, Bodega, hailing from Boston, Massachusetts. Also, selling them in, in, a, in a record time of less than seven minutes every single time they have a collaboration. Um, the owner New Balance was murdered on January 6, 2022. Time of death is 8.15 in the morning. At his residence at the age of 90 in, in San Francisco, in the Golden Gate neighborhood. Um, the house right to Full House, the one that they say is Full House, the house, the one to the right of it is his house. Um, at the age of 91 years old. He was in, in perfect health, no friends, no acquaintances. The company runs by itself, and and he knows he knows that how impeccable and amazing job 
and nothing needs to be done right now in New Balance. You, he says you are doing a phenomenal job and the, and the company that he built from scratch and a few dollars. Everybody will get rewarded adequately. And thank you, and he says thank you as well. Um, Uber, it was an Uber Eats delivery driver. Tony and Brian knew his login, um, his login information. It was a hacking situation. Tony Vitali, Brian Johnson. On January 5th, 2024, his iPhone at 11.21 p.m., Tony hacked this, his, he called the entity, retrieved the serial number of his iPhone. Um, Tony, wow, this is gonna be long. Tony got access, he, Tony got access to his phone on Epiphany Day on January 6th at 1.15 in the morning in the morning. Brian got access at 2.17 in the morning. They, they, they were looking for money, credit card numbers, bank card numbers, anything with sequential bank information that could be used. Because they can't get no money out of him, they decided they wanted to get him killed. So they um, they waited until food from the Uber Eats application. He ordered McDonald's a number one meal, a Big Mac meal with Coca-Cola, Coca that's it. The total was $14.29 was the total. Um, he was working late. He ordered at 4.10 in the morning. The estimated arrival time was, the ETA was 35 minutes. He arrived, the driver arrived at 4.45 in the morning. Tony contacted him, the driver at what uh, at at 422 in the morning not to bring him the food because he was has a mental disorder and he doesn't tip brian contacted him at 415 445 in the morning brian told him the driver that to deliver the food because he does not tip and he's a he's a he's a shirt republican racist scenable brian said, said he was a delivery uber driver too brian said he was black that he puts black people in jail um for life that's what mr what was um that was um that's mr purpose with the food water driver with, with the driver was enraged um, his date of birth is 1 January 2 1981 an African-American six foot two straight male black short black hair with three tattoos right upper arm stomach tattoo left low arm tattoo he's been to jail 13 times he uses someone's name to Uber delivery driver orders he's from Oakland California he lives in a furnished room $800 a month um, he's actually working with the same Uber account now his cousin Uber driver account he lives in Oakland too. The cousin's date of birth is 126, 1981, six foot one, black short hair, black eyes, no tattoos. He stole his cousin's identity. The number link, he doesn't know he's using his Uber account. The number linked to the account is linked to the murderer's um, address, his actual address. He drives a 2009 black Mercedes four-door C-Class with black interior, limo tents, factory rim, parking summonses, 11 of them he has. He has a Bank of America account with a checking account of num um, um, amount $889.88 right now. No credit cards, he's always using synthetic marijuana known as K2. Um, he was not aware he was the founder and owner of New Balance. He choked him for 44 minutes and 17 minutes in a row. He was very, very, very exuberated, very high. He lives, um, the, um, Mr. Riley lives in San Francisco by the Golden Gate. Um, right, the, the one to the right, the one for the right from the images on the show, Full House, from Mary Kate and Olsen. I'm sorry for them. Um, so since in Reebok, he's learned his um, Reebok, since we're acquiring Reebok, and I just acquired New Balance, because that was his wishes. I really, we already confirmed that. Um, New Balance will be taken care of by us. It will be in the same group that Reebok, but they will be separate. Re New Balance will always do what they do, and we'll be reshaping and dismantling Reebok and making it better. But New Balance, is in, you guys are doing a great job. But anyway, thank you, and have a great day. Um, I need the San Francisco Police Department dispatch, um, Mayor London Breed. Um, the San Francisco, thank you for the great work you're doing. Um, dispatch to the home as soon as possible. Thank you.